Quality care comes with the Cloniger name. Cloniger Family Dentistry is now proud to be the dentist to the entire Lincoln and Wolves athletic program. Doctors Les, Robert, John III, and Paul Cloniger are names iconic to dentistry here for more than 40 years. Each family member graduated from UNC Chapel Hill and have their own practices in Lincoln or Cherryville. For the dental office right for you, visit www.clonigerfamilydentistry.com. United together, committed to you. Hey, insurance companies that want to spend a gazillion dollars on funny TV ads can go right ahead, as long as it's not my money paying for it. For seriously good auto, home, business, or life insurance, I go to Erie Insurance, where a great price is just the start. You get unbelievable service, independent agents you can really trust, and superior products. But don't just take it from me. Talk to your local Erie agent. Your Erie agent in Lincolnton is Turner Hauser Insurance. Call 704-732-9577. Good evening once again, and welcome to high school football part two of this weekend. Saturday late afternoon football tonight. It's the completion of the West Lincoln Rebels and the Fred T. Ford Tigers. David Kiever, Rick Mitchum here to bring you the action tonight. And uh, Rick, uh, competitive game last night, a lot of offense, and Fred T. Ford rolled up 28 first half points. West Lincoln uh, with 14 first half points. That's where we stand as we're just about set to get back underway with half number two here tonight. And uh, West Lincoln will receive the kickoff to start the second half, and obviously they need to score to get right back in this game. Yes, they do. And uh, you're talking about scoring from last night. The two captains who just met uh, at midfield, Mike George and Mike George and Matt Williams, the two stars from last night's offensive show that we did see from the Tigers and the Rebels. But uh, West Lincoln will receive the football, and like you said, David, West Lincoln. Needs to uh, get on track right now and hopefully can get a score on this first drive and cut the lead into half. And uh, their defense should be well rested now, but the, you know they, they've got to stop this Matt, Matt Williams if they're going to have a chance to get back in this game and win. Yeah, he's everything that he's uh, billed to be, Rick. He's uh, looked really sharp at the quarterback position, whether it be running or, or throwing the ball. I think he's looked pretty solid. And, uh, yeah, the West Lincoln defense uh, will have their, have their work cut out for him. Um, to slow him down. And Jacob Smith, uh, Smith, excuse me, Jacob Smith, a 90-yard touchdown run last night and a four-yard touchdown run. So that's what makes uh, Fred T. Ford go. I mean, they got two offensive weapons and a uh, pretty good solid offensive line. So, yes, West Lincoln definitely with their work cut out for them. But, again, uh, they're going to get this second-half kickoff here in just a couple minutes, and uh, they need to get a good offensive drive and try to get on the board. So it's Wes Lincoln and Fred T. Ford, part two. The long we're half just about show. set. You got a got another pencil? pencil? Yeah. yeah, I didn't get one. Our ink pen would be even better. Just about set to get underway here. As for Fred T. Ford, it will be number seven, Ryan Campbell. Thank you, sir. Doing the kicking duties. And we're ready to get this second half underway. And here's the kick, and it does sail. It's going to be short. Last night we saw three or four go into the end zone. This one's going to be picked up at about the 16-yard line by Chesney. And he's surrounded by Fred T. Ford tacklers, and he goes down at about the 21-yard line. Well, Chesney had a big return last night along with another uh, West Lincoln Rebel, uh, number 25. That was, uh, well, that is Daniel Chesney. Also, I'll tell 21, you. Hunter Church had a big return, so they kicked it shallow and away from both Actually, back at the 17, it, I was watching the guy over here that marked the ball. He was up at the 21, but the ball was actually back at about the 16-yard line, and that's where West Lincoln will start first and 10 from its own 16. So not good field position to start the second half here for the Rebels. <laughs> yeah, it's harder to see in the daytime. Harder to see those lines out there with the sun shining bright on them, that's for sure. Here's a handoff trying to come around the end, Chesney, and he's going to be tackled at the 20. A little bit of room as he moves it out about four yards to the 20-yard line. It'll be second down and six for the Rebels. Chesney, five carries, 24 yards last night. Isaac Holler makes the stop for uh, Fred T. Ford. Glad to have you with us, ktcbroadcasting.com as well as uh, WLON. That was Alex Leatherman on the tackle. Second down, long six for the West Lincoln Rebels. 
they approach the line. Again, quick handoff this time, George, and this time Fred T4 defense ready for him. A couple linebackers in there standing him up, Rick. And if he got anything at all, it's just back to the line of scrimmage. Well, you, you think that... Uh, and that's where they're going to spot it on the 20. No gain, third down, and about six. Fred T4 defense has adjusted to... Mike George stopping that run. So far. So and far. we thought we joked mm -hmm. about this, but teams actually got to go and watch film of first half action. Yes, they did. And mm -hmm. try and make adjustments for today. It makes you wonder if there will be 42 points put up or not on this second day of this game. Here's a snap, handoff up the middle. George, this time a little bit of room out near the 28, 29 yard line. Going to pick up a first down. Yes, he is. And they needed that. Yes, they did. Up to the 29, we'll call it. First down, gain of nine. First and 10 for the Rebels as they're on the move here. I had George last night with 17 carries, 181 yards. I think Jonathan had him with 189. So regardless, regardless of a big uh, half of football. Big half, so now 19 carries, 190 on my sheet. 10-15 to go here in quarter number three. And this is going to be a keeper this time. Marsh got some running room out across the 35, out near the 40-yard line. Noah Marsh, gain of 11. And another first down as he reaches the 40. And that looks like an adjustment that Wes Lincoln's made right there, yep. letting uh, Marsh ride that fullback into that hole and then be able to keep and it. And maybe it was just he that didn't read it right on the first Could have been. to right. George. Mm -hmm. So first and 10, 40-yard line for the West Lincoln Rebels opening drive of the second half here on a Saturday evening. Just underway, 28-14, Fred T. Ford on top. This time again, Marsh gonna keep it. Now he'll pitch it to Chesney. Chesney breaks the tackle of midfield, 45-40 and run out of bounds in Fred T. Ford territory near the 40, actually inside the 40 to the 39 yard line. That's 21. 21. And another first down as First and 10, Chesney on that carry to the 39-yard line of Fred T. Ford. A first down for the Rebels, still on the move. Third first down of the drive. Even though even though West Lincoln has kept the ball on the ground, they've done some different things with it. They've ran the option twice, had a good pitch right there, a good block on the edge. Good-looking drive thus far for the Rebels. Here's a snap again, Chesney trying to get wide to the right. Runs out of room and will be brought down shy of the, just shy of the 35-yard line. Looks like number 40, Jody Willis, is on the tackle along with 22. So four yards Cicado. to the 35. Second down and six for West Lincoln. So 53 yards now for Chesney on the game. South Carolina leading Georgia second quarter. Or is that first? Second quarter, early in second quarter, 14-10 South 14 Carolina 10. over Georgia. Good one going on there. Yep. Mm, got movement on the offensive line, looks like, for West Lincoln. Normally I would be reclinered out at this moment, mm -hmm. Rick, watching that Georgia-South Carolina <laughs> game. <laughs> Get high school football on a Saturday night and even more on Monday night. West Lincoln penalized five times last night for 35 yards, so that's a big five-yard penalty there. It's going to put them back now, second and 11. So West Lincoln, substitution coming in here. Huddleston bringing in the play for the Rebels. 9.03 remaining, third quarter. Man in motion. And now here's the snap. We got movement on the line. Early, it looked like, maybe on the West Lincoln wideout. So again, another five-yard penalty. Yes, it is. No, uh -oh. Uh -oh. And Where we got a crash. Tape sticks good to. Tape sticks good. To take right in there in that bag. Six good to glass. Not so much to uh, anything else, right? We'll get it here in a minute. At least we can see for the time being. So Rick is going to bring up second down 15. Yes, it is. For the Rebels, ball at the 45-yard line. And it's going to be a pass out in the flat, and it's going to be overthrown, intended for number three, Harry Huddleston. Third down 
incomplete. The quarterback and receiver are not on the same page on that. Rick, I noticed it was there. I noticed it was Phil's side that stayed up, and, and yeah. yours that your well, Rick's that fell. Okay, well, this, <laughs> the, the sun is hotter and brighter on the side that I'm sitting on. <laughs> what it is, right uh, where Phil is. I think it's hotter and brighter on the side of the glass that we're not on. You know which part of the tape came off? The part that you stepped on. Oh, was it? Yeah. Don't tell him. Don't tell him that. Uh, Phil. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> now the truth comes out. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> So third and long now yep. for the Rebels. Third down 15. Here's a pitch to Chesney trying to get outside, but good deep, good pursuit. The ball comes loose, but it looks like Huddleston has fallen on it for West Lincoln. Yeah, it looks like number eight. On Gain the of about three to the 42, 42 and a half. And Jackson Bass on the tackle along with Leatherman again. Actually, we'll call it a two-yard gain. They only give him to 43. So now it's fourth down and 13. And see what the decision is here for the Rebels. you got to be maybe thinking, well, doesn't look like they're thinking punt, but, of course, Mac George, Mac George is the punter. Is the punter so, uh, so he's out there. He's not, a, not a punt formation, that's for sure. Could be trying to draw the Tigers offside, and I guess that's what they're going to do. Now they have to take a timeout, does the Rebels. So with that timeout, with 8.36 remaining in the third quarter, West Lincoln on the first drive, facing fourth and long and trailing 28 to 14. We'll see what they do when we come back. It's the 90th annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. Make plans now to be there. On the midway, it's pig racing, Leon Jacobs, Act Monsters Chainsaw Demonstration, the Tumbleweed Crossing Wild West Show, and on the grandstand, it's a demolition derby and much more. So join us for the fun, the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th, the Cleveland County Fair at the Cleveland County Fairgrounds. And we're back here at West Lincoln where the Rebels are faced with 4th down 13, and it appears that they are going to uh, go for it here. Well, it looks like now they're in punt formation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mac George drops back, but that still doesn't mean that they won't attempt a fake here. George, the top running back, now a high snap. He drifts back, catches it, now punts a line drive. Fair catch, signal four at the 10-yard line. And a fumble, but the uh, Fred T. Ford uh, back, mm -hmm. Tyler Johnson, falls on it, and he'll get it right there. Tyler Johnson, a big night last night or in the first half for Fred T. Ford, uh, five catches, 95 yards. So West Lincoln fails to put points on the board on the first drive. Now Fred T. Ford faced with uh, long yardage ahead of them starting on their own 10. Okay. 8.30 remaining in the third quarter. Ford had 12 first downs in that first half. Matt Williams, 6 for 11 in the passing department. So first and 10, Fred T. Ford Tigers, their first snap today, first snap of the second half. Williams, quarterback, takes it, throws across the middle, got a receiver through the hands of Ryan Honeycutt, incomplete. Good-looking throw. and I'm It was a good like throw. Honeycutt probably like to have another chance at that one. He let it go right through his hands, so second down and 10 now as the ball is at the 10-yard line of Fred T. Ford. 8.26 to go here in quarter number three. Not every day we start in the third quarter, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Weather definitely played a part in high school football action last night. Mm hmm <clears throat> A lot of games postponed. Here's a handoff up the middle. No running room at all. Trying to catch number. That's 15. Jacob Smith on the carry, who had a big first half. Well, so yes, he but did. Dropped back behind the line of scrimmage at the seven-yard line. That's going to be a loss of three, and now going to bring up a big third down and 13 for Ford. A big play, a big chance here for the West Lincoln defense. And yes, Phil, what did you say you had a final on? Weddington over Monroe, 28-20 this afternoon. Okay, Monroe. Jacob Smith with 148 yards last night. His first carry is negative three, so third and long now for the Tigers. Forward to the line of scrimmage. Big big chance here for West Lincoln to get mm -hmm. the defense off and the offense back on the field. 
quarterback Williams rolling to his left, looking downfield. Now he's going to run it and got some room at the 15. Breaks the tackle at the 20 now and gets that as a block in the back as well, Williams well, breaks free at the 50 and knocked out of bounds in the West Lincoln Territory, but all for naught now as this one's going to come back. Uh-oh, Phil. Y'all might as well take that contraption down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to take it down. Not that that sun goes behind the clouds. So Matt Williams with a big game, but it's, it's going to be nullified. Only uh, blocking the back penalty, but he is going to get some good yardage off of that. 17? Yep. He, we'll see where they mark it. Jonathan, is that right? 17 Kay. yards on it, and then there'll be a 10-yard yep, penalty. Yep, 24-yard line, so 17, and then they'll move it back. 10 Dave, to the 14. Dave, that's the first penalty that I have on Fred T. Ford in the entire game. So... But that's a costly one. It Johnny says it's their third. Third, okay. Then I missed two last night. Might have been asleep there a couple times. I was busy. <laughs> well, it is going to be third down over again. Now, it won't be third and 13. It's going to be third and seven. Ball's on the 14. And a big play once again here for the West Lincoln defense. Call it a break there, Rick, because... The first down was going to be made without the block without in the back. Without the block in the back. And the kid correct. made the block mm -hmm. in the back and gave, gave the Rebels another opportunity here to get a stop. Quarterback fakes the handoff, drops back. Williams now rolling to his left under pressure, slings it downfield, got a receiver and overthrows him incomplete. <laughs> Intended for number seven, Ryan Campbell again. And I think uh, Williams took a hit back yeah, there by did. Mike George. He's getting up slowly. Yep. He is to his feet. and. West Lincoln came within a hair of intercepting that pass, so that would have been huge, but now Ford is. Well, hopefully they can get good field punt. position here out of the punt. They're going to force uh, Ford to punt here from inside their own five-yard line. Austin Lutford was the player close to the ball there for the Rebels. Deep to punt for Fred T. Ford is number seven. That is Ryan Campbell. Deep for the Rebels is Chesney, number 25. And the snap and the kick is away. Chesney returnable takes it at the 48-yard line. And wow. Yeah, he is hit. Had a, what looked like going to be a nice return, but hit solidly at about the 49, as you said, Rick. And yeah, Jacob Burgess, number 82, single-handedly wraps uh, Chesney up and stops him from gaining any yardage. Burge is only a sophomore, so a good open field tackle by that young man. So West Lincoln right on the 50-yard line. We'll start their second possession here in the third quarter. 6.59 remaining. And we have a timeout on the field, a water break for the teams. While we have a timeout, we'll take a break. TRT trailer sales scoreboard still 28-14, Fred T. Ford. Good credit, bad credit, no credit? Apply today and ride today at Full Throttle Power Sports in Lowell. Pick up this week's What's Up Shopper for some great deals with zero money down and rates as low as 2.99%. See the new Polaris Ranger 500 Crew for as low as $10,000. The brand new Yamaha Grizzly 125 is only $35.99. And for the lake, get the 2014 Yamaha Superjet for only $71.50. Full Throttle Power Sports. Exit 22 off I-85 in law, online at nc4throttle.com. Service. That's hard to find when it comes to lawn and garden equipment. Not anymore. Head to Parker Farm Service in Kings Mountain. Parker Farm Service services all major brands, makes, and models. Call Mary McHenry to set up your appointment at 704-259-6130. And Parker Farm Service welcomes Kenny Barbie to their service department. 24-hour turnaround with in-house parts, plus delivery and pickup is available. Parker Farm Service on Bessie Drive at the Highway 74 Bypass, Oak Grove Road intersection in Kings Mountain. And before we get back, a handoff to Chesney, and he races down the left sideline, 51 yards, Rick. Yards and a rebel dirt. touchdown. Yep, 51 yes, yards to pay dirt and a touchdown. So, one play in this drive. 51 yards for Chesney, and just like that, the Rebels back within eight here trying to make it seven. At the 649 mark here in the third quarter. Kavila kicking. In the smoke. 
And, and that ball good. is up in smoke. Up in smoke and through the uprights, and it's as good. Extra point is good. So, TRT Turner Sales scoreboard now 6.49 to go third quarter. Fred T. Ford 28, West Lincoln 21, back in a moment. There's nothing like a bobcat to cut grass, and there's no better deal than right now to own a new bobcat from West End Sales in Vail. For only $101 a month, you can be mowing on your new bobcat with 0% financing for 54 months. See the Bobcat Fast Cat R2 with a big 22 horsepower Kawasaki engine and a big 52 inch cut and a heavy duty frame weighing 850 pounds, plus a three year, 300 hour warranty. Only 101 per month at West End Sales, Highway 2718 North Intersection, Vail. The old saying you can't keep a good man down now applies to Brookwood Cafe and Catering. The new Brookwood Cafe and Catering is located on Providence Mill Road in Maiden, featuring the same great food and service you remember. The world's greatest fried chicken and world-famous penny browns once again satisfy your appetite. Brookwood Cafe and Catering is serving the same great breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Brookwood Cafe and Catering on Providence Mill Road in Maiden. Stop by before the game or call ahead for your tailgate items, 828-428-8944. Fred T. Ford, but that touchdown will be brought back. So you check it out, Rick. I'm going to try and fix a sound issue we're having yeah. right here on video. I think we're good on radio, but not good on video. Well, Fred T. Ford will take over on the West Lincoln, looks like 29-yard line. First and ten, so uh, touchdown is nullified by that block in the back by Johnson. But Fred T. Ford does have the ball in great field position, and there is an official timeout on the field. So uh, Fred T. Ford is going to their sideline. West Lincoln still getting instruction from uh, the coaches. Right. Equipment timeout. Okay. So that's been taken care of. And now Fred T. Ford comes out to the line of scrimmage. Matt Williams in that shotgun formation. He's got uh, number 15, Jacob Smith, set off to the right. And the snap and the fake handoff to Smith. And Williams on the outside to the right. He's got a block, another block in the back. And does get positive yardage brought down by Harry Holston. But there's going to be another penalty on the 21-yard line, so that's going to negate another Fred T. Ford first down, another block in the back. So, so Williams fortunately for West Lincoln, mm -hmm. Rick, Fred T. Ford is kind of shooting himself yes, in the foot right now. Yes, that's they are. Penalties. Eight-yard gain by Williams, but now the 10-yard mark-off will... Make it now second and, or excuse me, first and 12 from the 31 yard line, the Rebel 31 yard line. So ball sits out to us outside the 30 at the 31. First down after the penalty, about 13 yards to go with the ball at the 31. West Lincoln needing to stop, looking good on offense again on that last drive, but now looking for a, a big stop here. And, a chance to tie. There's going to be a handoff right up the middle to Smith, and he's fighting for yardage inside the 30 and going to be stopped about the 28. Got to get Smith, Smith credit run hard up in there. Yes, he does. Uh, tackled by Mike George, also number 65 for the Rebels. Andre, Andres Gonzalez. So it's going to bring up second and 10 now.
And Fred you forward up to the line. Again, Williams in the shotgun, shotgun formation. Smith set off to the right. And the snap. Williams drops straight back, looking across the middle, and under threw him. Looked like it bounced. Yep. Receiver number seven. That's Ryan Campbell. Campbell did trap the ball. I was concerned if a referee had a good angle at that, but he did. He did call it incomplete. So Williams now 0 for three here in the third quarter of his passes, and that'll bring up third and ten for the Tigers. So third and 10 for Fred T. Ford. They are leading by seven points now. West Lincoln did score in their last possession. The score is now 28-21. We're at the 5-15 mark in the third quarter. Williams in the shotgun again. He has twin receivers to the left, one to the right. And a snap, and we've got a flag on the play. I don't know if the Rebels were in the uh, in the uh, end zone. Actually, yes, West Lincoln uh, gets in the has an encroachment penalty, so that's going to move the ball up five yards. And that'll be third and five for Fred T. Ford. So big third down and five situation coming up, up here for both teams. Of course, Wes Lincoln needing a stop, Rick, in the worst way. And, of course, the uh, um, Ford Tigers know they need to stay two scores out in front, if at all possible, with Wes Lincoln. Offense really moving the ball well when they've had it. Man in motion, handoff Smith up the middle and good pursuit. He's going to fall forward, but not going to get near the first down. Christian Whitmore there along with Gonzalez for West Lincoln. Excuse me, that's the wrong name. Uh, number 42 was Tyler Heiss for the Rebels. So it's going to bring up fourth and still looks like five from here. Yep, ball about the 23-yard line. So fourth down and five, and if you're Fred T. Ford, pretty much you're pretty much going to go for it. Yeah, going to go for it right here. We're in the third quarter, 4:15 to go. 28-21, Fred T. Ford leads. Uh, one Elizabeth Lackey, Century 21, Town and Country Realty touchdown here in the third quarter for West. Pass across the middle, got his man at the five-yard line. Number two, Tyler Johnson. He's, he's been a go-to well, guy here, Rick. Yes, he has, and that's another big catch by Johnson, and it will be a first down. 18 yards to the five. Mm. Let's look through Phil's little scope here. Scope, see, yeah, uh, check it out and see what's going on down there. So first and goal now for Ford around the three-yard line. Yep, the four. Sure is. Knows the ball about the four. Hard to see, believe it or not, with the sun. In our eyes. So, so now 19 Williams yards on that reception. The time. Yep. Now here's the snap, and we're going to get a penalty marker, and I think maybe a little movement. Actually, it's going to be West Lincoln. And that neutral zone again. Yep. So it's going to be half the distance. That's not what you want. No, it's not. It's right going to be like a two-yard penalty on the Rebels, but it gets the ball closer and closer to that end zone. So clock winding here, under four minutes to go, third quarter, and Fred T. Ford threatening to get their two-touchdown lead back. Williams brings his team to the line of scrimmage. Movement and again. we do have movement. And it looked like the uh, interior of the it's defensive young. line for West Lincoln coming through. I know you want to get a good start, but you're just making it easier. You're making it easier right now on the Tigers. And Inching them closer without taking snaps. Ball sitting outside the one. And still first down. Still first down, 15 seconds on the play clock. So forward now at the line of scrimmage. Straight eye formation. With Williams underneath, gives it to Schmidt, and he just trots into the end zone untouched, straight up the middle for the touchdown. So Schmidt with the one-yard touchdown run here at the 3.07 mark in quarter number three, and that extends Ford's lead back to 34-21 with the extra point pending here. It will be Campbell number seven, Campbell. Mm -hmm. So Fred T. Ford answers 
after yes, West Lincoln do. does cut the lead in half. Well, Rick, the kickoff return there was key. You get it was great yes. field position set up by that long kick return, and now capitalizing with the one-yard Smith touchdown and the extra point. Campbell's kick is up, and it is good. So, another Fred T. Ford touchdown here on the ClongerFamilyDentistry.com broadcast of high school football. 35-21, Ford over West Lincoln now on the TRT Trailer Sales Scoreboard. When it comes time to cut the grass, you'll be more than happy to do it on your new Husqvarna Zero Turn Mower or Tractor Mower from Carolina Hardware and Garden Center in Lincoln. You'll find one that's right for your lawn and your pocketbook and get free delivery of your new mower. And now is the time to service your old mower. Bring it on in or call for pickup and delivery. From parts to service to a brand new Husqvarna mower. They do it all at Carolina Hardware and Garden Center on the Reeseville Road in Lincoln, your Husqvarna dealer in this area. Al Lane Motorsports in Lincoln now has Easy Go Golf Carts. And the best part is the price. Now you can buy an Easy Go Golf Cart for only $14.95. That's right, only $14.95. See the big selection with low, low payments and zero money down. See Al Lane Motorsports for all the details. Easy Go Golf Carts starting at $14.95 at Al Lane Motorsports, Highway 27 East at the 73 intersection in Lincoln. Online at AllLaneMotorsports.com. Back here at West Lincoln, a, the ClongerFamilyDentistry.com broadcast of high school football and a pooch kick recovered by West Lincoln number... Number 52, 52? Ma Matthew Poteet gets the okay. coverage there. At about the 37-yard line, West will start first and 10 at their own 37. Now back to the position they were in earlier, trailing by two scores, 35 to 21 on the TRT trailer sales scoreboard. Yes, trailing by two scores again. Man in motion coming our way. Tight end set now. It's going to be a George, Mike George handoff and not a lot of room to move that defense this time. Out to maybe the 38 or 39, a yard or two for Mac George. Stop at number 40, Jody Willis, and number 51, Cameron Wilfong. Give him two to the 39, second down and eight for the Rebels. Under three minutes to go, third quarter. Each team with a touchdown here in the third quarter, 35-21, Fred T. Ford on top. Most of the games to be completed on Monday night that uh, were postponed last night. Here's a snap. Again, George up the middle, and again, mm. hit hard as he crosses the 40 to about the 42. Initially hit by Jackson Bass, number eight, but he's put down by Jody Willis, number 40. I'm going to give him three to the 42. And now it's going to bring up third down and five for West Lincoln. And Rick, critical, critical third down here for the Rebel offense. Yes, it is. Must keep the ball and keep it away from Ford. And obviously, as we enter the fourth quarter here shortly, they'll need to get points on this drive, I would think. Third and five. Man in motion coming across, number 22, Anderson. Back to throw, Marsh out in the flat. He's got Anderson at the 45. Anderson out to midfield and got a first down. Todrick Anderson on the reception. First completion of the night, but it is huge. Yep, they're going to give him the 49-yard line, and that's a nine-yard gain and a first down. The 49 of Fred T. Ford. And a big first down for the Rebels here. 145 now to go in the third, and West Lincoln maintains possession. Now a quick snap, handoff to George. And he's going to be brought down near the 45-yard line. Good hard running up yep. the middle. Going to get about five on that. And West Lincoln went no huddle there. And Fred T. Ford's defense was not yep. set. Four-yard pickup. Bring Four. up second and six. Ball at the 45. Again, West Lincoln quickly to the line. And again, a quick snap. This time it's going to be Chesney. 45 inside the 45. Breaks a couple tackles. But about the 43-yard line is all he's going to be able to get out of that. A lot of running for two yards, Just basically was. right there. But Dylan Curtis, the number 95, Cody Edledge, Edledge on the stop. One thing about it, though, for West Lincoln, here they are quick to the line again. And this time it's going to be Marsh on the keeper. has got a first down inside the 40 to the 38. Five more yards for the Rebel offense. This time Noah Marsh 
And another big first down for West Lincoln to keep moving down. the chains. Actually put it on the 37, six yards on the carry. And a first down. Good looking run, good looking play. Trying to keep the forward defense off balance a little bit and so far it's working. 37 yard line, first and 10 with under a minute to go in the third quarter. Another first down, sponsored by Walker Pharmacy in Newton. Now here's movement this time before the snap. We'll check it. And that's why West Lincoln cannot afford these five-yard penalties that set them back with long yardage on first down. So a five-yard penalty against West to move it back to the 42. Well, under a minute here in the third quarter now, 44.1 seconds to play, and the clock is moving again. So ball at the 42-yard line. Seven of them, Johnny? Seven false Seven starts false or offsides, starts offsides. On, on West Lincoln, yeah. Errors that are fixable, but they need to fix them quick. Chesney trying to bounce outside, nothing doing. He's tackled behind the line of, behind the line of scrimmage back at the 44-yard line. He's going to lose a couple. Jody Willis on the stop again along with Dylan Curtis. Two-yard loss now, Rick, and that's going to bring up 17, second down and 17 for West Lincoln. This pretty good, pretty big play coming up, and that's going to do it for quarter number three. You're listening to High School Football on the Cloninger Family Dentistry.com High School Football Network. Your score after three quarters TRT Trailer Cell Scoreboard Fred T. Ford 35, West Lincoln 21. We're a community bank. That's why we always try to approach things from a community-minded point of view. When something is in the best interest of the communities we serve, it's good for us as well. We're community-minded, just like you. Carolina Trust Bank, member FDIC. Community-minded, just like you. We're community-minded, just like you. Eddie's Auto Parts in Lincoln and has new owners. Tim Beam and Jeff Powell invite you to come by and see them for all of your auto parts needs, from batteries to heavy duty to farm. See Tim and Jeff today at Eddie's Auto Parts, 2514 East Main Street in Lincoln. Give them a call at 704-732-0768. Back at West Lincoln, start quarter, start of quarter number four here. And a big uh, series of plays here for the West Lincoln Rebels. Second down, 17, and West Lincoln with the ball, trailing by two scores to Fred T. Ford here. First play of the fourth quarter is going to be a little pitch to George, and not much running room for Mike George. He's going to get close to the 40-yard line. Stop by number 40 again, Jody Willis. They'll give him four to the 40. But it's going to bring up now third down and about uh, 13 and a half yards for a first. Yes, it is. I've got George over 200 yards now, but really that's not He's really important. been limited today. Yes, he has. He's been limited uh, here I in the second half. 181 starting, so he's gained uh, 20. And you got to wonder if that's not a, uh, an adjustment that the film helped better than they could have just made at oh, time in a few minutes, you know. Here's Mac George again up the middle and going to get to the, about the 36-yard line. Pick up a four. So now you're looking at fourth down and about eight, eight and a half, maybe nine yards. Yeah, we'll call it nine. So a big play right here for West Lincoln and obviously in four down territory, but here's where getting the play right for the situation is going to be crucial for Coach right. Tom Sane and his staff. Fourth down and nine for West Lincoln. Of course, I like the play they ran the last time when they picked up the first down hitting Anderson, who came out of the backfield, had the wide receivers run <clears throat> run the defenders off. So we may see that again. Anderson is in motion. Yep, here's the snap. Marsh turns, fakes, throws downfield. Got mm, good Anderson, defense. but a good job defensively by number 24 for Fred T. Ford. Dante Powell knocks it away. Anderson looked wide open, but Powell steps in that passing lane and knocks the 
knocks it away. So Fred T. Ford will take over. Ford takes over on downs as it's on 36-yard line, first and 10, up two touchdowns. And now they'll take over. Century 21 Town and Country Realty is going to, uh, 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 excuse me, Century, give you a little information here on our new, newest sponsor, our touchdown sponsor, Elizabeth Lackey, Century 21 Town and Country Realty. Tell you right after we have this play here. So Williams up to the line, shotgun formation again, hands off to his. Halfback number 30, looks like. Yeah, number 30 tips. tips he yes. got some runs last night. Gets it out to the 40, a gain of four. Tips last night, or in the first half, rather, was had four carries for 22 yards. When buying or selling a home, you want success. Elizabeth Lackey, broker and realtor with Century 21 Town & Country Realty in Lincoln, can make your dreams come true. Elizabeth pledges to provide you with service that is professional plus courteous and responsive service in helping you with your real estate needs. Call Elizabeth Lackey today at 980-241-9989. 980-241-9989. Elizabeth Lackey, Century 21 Town and Country Realty. And now we got a pass out in the flat, complete to Johnson. He breaks loose at the 50, cuts it back inside, eludes a couple tacklers, and brought down just outside the 40-yard line of West Lincoln. Zane Peterson makes the stop. Tyler Johnson having a big night catching the football, or a big... A big day and a half, I oh, guess. Oh, yeah, no doubt big about weekend, it. Big weekend, yeah. Mm -hmm. How often do you do that if it's not baseball? <laughs> it's having a big weekend all the way to the 41, a gain of 19. That's seven catches that the young man has tonight, and every one has been for positive yardage, double figure They've all yardage. picked up first downs. Mm -hmm. Which He's is huge. catches of 15, 24, 19, 9, 28, 18, and now 19. Mm. So... Big day That's a catching the football. Yep. First and 10 from the West Lincoln 41. And we got, got uh, Canadian football play <laughs> if you're watching on video, but they won't allow that here in the U.S. Well, that's, that was. Uh, that's uh, called was, a false start here. That was Mr. Tyler Johnson. He was so yep. excited after getting that first hey, down. He you know what? I'm just going to go over and pat him on the back the kind of game he's had and say, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Don't worry about that yep. one. You, you deserve one of those. He likes to get that quick jump and got. Uh, Let's see, I want to say a half a step early, but that was probably about 15 was, uh, half steps. Yeah, he was three and a half, four <laughs> steps early. So five yards, move it back to the 46. With the kind of offense Ford runs, though, it's yeah, 15 is, they like to throw it down the field, even with the lead here. This time quarterback's going to keep it, however, and he's kind of clotheslined in the interior. Yeah, yes, he was. The penalty line. marker comes in. 66 makes the stop. That's Woolick, but there's, there's going to be a penalty on that play. Yep. Calling a face mask. I, I don't know if he got the face mask or not from here, but the referee on the field who was back behind the line of scrimmage throws the flag, and it's a 15-yarder. It's a Wild wow. all the way down to the 29, 15 yards. So he picked up, what, two on the play? Mm. Coach Klonger talking back behind us says you even touch the helmet now. It's a 15 yards. Yeah, trying yard to keep the helmet. hands off the helmet. Mm -hmm. New, New rule point of year. emphasis for high school officials. Here's a snap. Throws it out in the flat. It's caught by Honeycutt. 30 yards line. Trying to get in more positive yards and can't do so. Good job. Good pursuit by West Lincoln defense on the pass there. Pick up. Minimal pickup, maybe of two yards. There, are, there is another flag on the play. Another marker. So Honeycutt, that's his second catch of the night, or of the game, rather. Blocking in the back, penalty against the Tigers. Ten-yard penalty from the spot. I'll give you one on the. So, so one on the one. play, and then a and then a penalty to move it back to the. Actually, I had him at the 27 before the play. Was it? So That's right. I did that after the, yep. Honeycutt's had two catches tonight and hadn't got a yard out of it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the snap. Shotgun back to throw. Got a little Screen receiver pass. in the flat. That's tips at the 35-yard line. Slung down just inside the 35. Good tackle by the uh, Rebel defense. Yeah, but Mike, uh, Mike George makes the cat, or tackle, excuse me. 
So about uh, five yards to the 34. So it'll make it suck it down now. Second down, 15. 15 mm -hmm. As the clouds start to move in a little bit. And the clock is just definitely to, in Ford's favor. Just enough to block the sun off of us, though, hopefully. Pretty high clouds, so hopefully no rain. <laughs> well, 743 remaining. Are we down to 743? Yes, we are. Boy, moving quick here in the second half. Here's a snap. Fake handoff, rolling right Williams. Looking downfield, still rolling to his right, throws and got a receiver tips at the 20, makes a juggling catch inside the 15 and falls down at about the, or actually brought down at about the 12-yard line. That could be the straw that broke West Lane that was a, right there. That was a pretty nice play on both ends, yes, Rick. Quarterback, quarterback eluding yeah. traffic and then hitting tips and tips making a... Actually bobbled it. Yep, bobbling the ball, making a hang on. juggling catch to the 12. So again, a 22 and a big first down for the Tigers. Uh, Walker Pharmacy first down for Fred T. Ford here as they're on the move. First and 10 from the West Lincoln 12 as we approach the seven-minute mark here in the game. Here's the snap, and Williams going to keep it. Goes up inside, now cuts it outside. 10, 5, ball comes loose, and Williams falls on it in the end zone. Yes, he does. And he I think the flag on. is going to be a face mask, Rick. I'm, I'm not sure, but it looked like it could have been a face mask, and if it is, the touchdown is going to stand. Williams made a mistake by letting the, putting the ball on the ground and then recovers it himself. There was no flag, David. Oh, okay. That was uh, Harry Holston's yellow bottom shoes that you Is that right? right there. Yes. It, he ought not do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> so Williams How on the 12-yard 12 12 yard, 12? Yep, 12 touchdown run here at 6.58 to go. And Wes Lincoln... Now finds themselves three scores behind with the extra point coming. Williams now with 108 yards on 17 carries and three rushing touchdowns for the young man. There is a flag on the play now. Yeah, and the official going to come over here and we got offsetting penalties. Offside West Lincoln and maybe illegal participation maybe or something on Fred T. Ford, either way, I'm going to leave it at the exact same spot and try it again. Ryan Campbell now will attempt the extra point. Snap on the way, spot, kick is up, and it is good. Yes, it is. 6.58 to go here in the ball game. Fred T. Ford now starting to pull away. They lead 42-21 on the TRT Trailer Sales scoreboard. He's back. The local friendly dentist, Dr. Robert Truman Kloniger, has resumed his popular practice in Lincoln. All his friends and patients are so excited to have this beloved man back doing their dental work. Dr. Robert Truman Kloniger is located, as always, at 910 Doncha Drive in Lincoln. For details or an appointment, call 704-735-3014. For a relaxed atmosphere and a personable dentist everyone can talk to and relate to. Come see the local friendly dentist. He's back, Dr. Robert Truman Kloniger of Lincolnton. Sleep apnea is the interruption of sleep by a blockage to breathing. Eight million Americans go undiagnosed for sleep apnea. Dr. John L. Kloniger III of Lincoln can help you with sleep apnea problems. John III is a member of the American Academy of Dental Sleep Medicine. He can help you now overcome the symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea, such as excessive daytime sleep, loud snoring, episodes of breathing cessation where you stop breathing, dry mouth and sore throat, morning headaches, insomnia, attention problems, and more. John III is concerned that patients don't know there are treatments for obstructive sleep apnea, from CPAP to dental appliances or even surgery. John III offers a free consultation for anyone with symptoms of sleep apnea. Just call 704-735-0765 or come by 904 Doncha Drive in Lincoln to make an appointment. Sleep longer, smile brighter, live happier. Let Dr. John L. Kloniger III put his 21 years of dentistry experience to work for you. Back here at West Lincoln, now the Rebels have the ball first and 10 at their own 32-yard line, following the short kick, throw out in the flat. It's going to be incomplete. Penalty marker down as the pass intended for West Lincoln's 
Harry Huddleston. Looks like he was held when he came off the line and then bumped again, so I think it's yep. going to be a penalty on the forward defense. So West Lincoln starting this one, this possession at their own 32. The holding will give them a 10 yard penalty, a first down out at the 42. So uh, first down via the penalty. West Lincoln to take it any way they can get it right now. You've seen, seen an official mark off 10 yards penalty on first down and then measure it? <laughs> <laughs> if he's short and he messed up, didn't he? Yes. Mm -hmm. First and 10 for the West Lincoln Rebels. Snap, rolling right. Marsh looking downfield. Huddleston can't get free, and under heavy pressure, he just slings it in traffic. And wow, a nice throw, but uh, through the hands of the intended target, the tight end, number 88, that somebody's got to help me with. Well, I don't have an 88 on my list. Des Bryant. Des Bryant. Nope, nope I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> So West Lincoln faced with a second and ten. Your now. name, Johnny? Don't know him. Don't know him? Nope. 88. Number 88 is his new name. Incomplete, but an, actually a nice throw in all that traffic by Marsh, but uh, can't come up with a completion. Second down and ten now, and it's going to be Marsh keeping it behind Mike George, mm -hmm. and he's going to be dropped at yep. the line, maybe a yard to the 43, but that's about all. Stuffed out real quick by the Fred T. Ford. Interior, Dante Powell there to make the stop. Long number 51. In relation to Mike. Cameron Wilfong. Third down and about nine and a half yards for a first. 6-10 to go in the ball game. 42-21, Fred T. Ford on top of West Lincoln here in this final non-conference contest for the Rebels and now a timeout on the field. You're listening to High School Football, West Lincoln Fred T. Ford broadcast on the KloningerFamilyDentistry.com network. TRT Turner Cell scoreboard halfway through the fourth, exactly six minutes to go. Fred T. Ford leads West Lincoln 42-21. Stay on a friend you can depend on. The test of your insurance agent's friendship comes when misfortune strikes. You can count on an independent agent representing State Auto. Fast, fair claim service. You can depend on it if you're insured with an independent state auto agent. State auto, a friend you can depend on. Your state auto insurance agency is Moody Insurance Agency, 528 East Main Street in Maiden. Give them a call at 828-428-8231. We make a joyful... At West Lincoln as the Rebels and the Tigers doing battle. What's the series on this, on this, yeah, this long time? They've played each other a few times. Oh, those in the conference <laughs> back in the old SD seven days. It's good to see they've got the rivalry going again. Only, what, eight, yep. nine miles apart. Here's a pitch, going to be a halfback pass. George throwing, got a receiver downfield all alone at the 20-yard line. Juggled and makes the catch, Hunter Turner. Touchdown, Rebels. So, just like Perfect that. Perfect play call. George was hit hard as he released it. But just like that, 57 yards for the touchdown. Mac George to Hunter Turner. Good halfback pass, sold it well. And... Hunter Turner bottled it. 50 to go. And just like that, now the Rebels score quickly, something they needed badly here. 5.50 to go in the game, and they find themselves trying to pull with him 14 here as Cavillo on to attempt the extra point. And the kick is up and through the middle, so it is good. Yes, it is. So, 5.50 to go in the game. West Lincoln on the board again. A, an Elizabeth Lackey, Century 21 Town and Country Realty touchdown. Pulls West Lincoln within 14. 5.50 to play. 42-28. Fred T. Ford on top on the TRT Trailer Sales scoreboard. Always cheering our favorite high school football teams on Friday nights and our favorite college teams on Saturday. The family of faith at Ryan Heights United Methodist Church would like to invite you to come and make a joyful noise for the Lord on Sundays. Sunday school is at 10 and worship is at 11. 
Rhine Heights United Methodist Church is in Lincolnton on Madison Street, just up from Betty Ross Park. Come make a joyful noise with us. Trailers for everything, and we mean it, at TRT Trailer Sales in Lincoln, 3302 Gastonia Highway. Trailers for hauling livestock, motorcycles, and cars. You'll find dump trailers, utility, and landscaping trailers. You'll find racing trailers with finished interiors, plus the tag-along and gooseneck trailers, insulated trailers with tack compartments and 110 packages. Call toll-free at 1-877-279-7465 or visit the website, trtrailersales.com. And we're back here at West Lincoln, onside kick, a nice squibs kick, kick by Cavillo, but bounces off a Fred T. Ford player, but unfortunately he hit it a little hard, Rick, and it bounced all the way out of bounds. Uh, I guess the only thing, good thing came out of that is it was about, is about uh, 20 yards downfield or so, and Ford don't have the greatest field position, but they do have possession of the football, and Fred T. Ford will start first and 10 at its own 44. Yeah, West Lincoln had that opportunity to get the ball, but... 39, uh, excuse me, 439. Just couldn't get there on, on time or in time before it got out of but bounds. These two teams have played 44 times. 44 Speaking of 44, times. yes, 44 times. West Lincoln leads the series 23-19 with two ties. Here's a handoff backfield. That's Tips breaking a tackle. 40, we've got a penalty marker. Tips all the way to midfield before going out of bounds, but there is a flag on the play. Quintavious Tips, Quintavious Tips, 6'195", senior running back, having a pretty good game, but yes, we're going to get a holding call. This one will come back. So from the 39, they're going to mark it off the holding at the 40, so go back to the 30-yard line. Second down 19. Or excuse me, first down 19. Close series, Rick, 23-19 and two. West Lincoln with the slight edge. Slight edge, yes. Mm -hmm. So first down, 19. And now a timeout on the field taken by Fred T. Ford. 5.35 to go in the game, 42-28. Uh, Tigers on top of the Rebels here on the TRT Trailer Sales scoreboard. The Great American Chevrolet Sale is underway at Abernathy Chevrolet in Lincoln. If you've been thinking that now is the time to trade in your old vehicle, well, you're right. During the special summer sales event, you get more for your dollar at Abernathy Chevrolet in Lincoln. Like right now, save up to $7,000 MSRP on the 014 Chevy Silverado or get 0% financing for 72 months. All during the Great American Trade-In Sale going on now at Abernathy Chevrolet, 1445 East Main Street, exit 24, 321 Bypass, Lincoln. Affordable elegance for your home is waiting for you at the all-new law. Back at West Lincoln High School, fourth quarter action. <laughs> Fred T. Ford with the ball. Uh, having fun here, Rick. At Richard Walker's expense, and he's not even here. Not even here. Richard not even here to defend himself. That's Phil Gardner making fun of Richard Walker in the press box. <laughs> uh, here's the snap, and it's going to be a keeper by Williams and he faked a lot of people out trying to get outside and a missed tackle out there at the 33 now out across the 40 and finally brought down is Williams at about the 43 yard line gain of 13 yards 14, but it's not going to be a first no, down no, but, it, but that was just first they got to, they got the yardage but do go out of bounds it stops the clock at 519 to go I got Williams now with 121 yards on the night. So, young man's had a good night through How the How many yards does Johnson have receiving? That's, uh, Johnson, he had uh, five for nine. How many? 135. Yeah, so he had a big been, night, too. Mm -hmm. And like you said earlier, Rick, his, his have come at key times. He's yes. made some big catches. Forward sprinting with the play clock at one. They get the snap off. Williams is going to pitch it to Tips. Tips at the 40, trying to get outside, but it closes in a hurry. He gets to about the 43 and brought down at the line of scrimmage. 
A lot of running there for no gain. Yeah, Turner comes up and makes a good stop for West Lincoln. Plays it just perfectly. Gets his head across his shoulders and wraps up. So it'll be third down and six. Don't forget to wrap up after the game, our, our first Federal Savings Bank post-game show. We'll uh, give you a West Lincoln player of the game, sponsored by West End Sales of Vail. Fred T. Ford to the line of scrimmage now, being a little, little slower, a little deliberate, using some play clock now with a two-touchdown lead here in the final quarter. Snap, shotgun formation. Williams rolling to his right this time. Of course, it hadn't, hadn't stopped him from trying to throw the ball, but this time going to be dragged down from behind. Looks like number 40, Rick. Yeah, good stop by number 44, the Rebels. That's Peterson, Zane Peterson, so it will be fourth down. Uh, it will actually go down as a sack. So he loses a yard back to the 42. Peterson had him by the jersey and hung on. And so now fourth down and about seven for the Fred T. Ford Tigers. Campbell will punt for Fred T. Ford. The clock is still running. Four West Lincoln five. still with an opportunity here. Well, they still do, got yeah. a chance mm -hmm. getting the ball back here with around four minutes to go. Chesney back deep for the Rebels. Ten, nine seconds on the play clock. Ford again using all that play clock. Here's the snap, the quick punt off the foot of Campbell, and it's going to bounce down to about the 22, picked up back there by Chesney, and not much of a return. Good pursuit by Fred T. Ford, and that kind of kick will get your coverage down the field right on time, Rick. Dylan Ward there on the stop along with Jordan Player. So those two young men on the special teams doing a good job for the Tigers. Is that the first time this half Ford's? First down. First punt. I think it might be second their second. Mm -hmm. Second of the half, yep. How about that? So they punt here. West Lincoln takes over at its own 26. First and 10. Clock under four at 3.43 to go. Rebels down two touchdowns, 42-28. And now Marsh rolls to his left, throws out in the flat to George. Got some running room at the 30, cutting it back across the field and still breaking tackles to the 35. Mike George out near the 40-yard line and goes out of bounds as well. A lot of running. 60-some yards run. Yep. <laughs> a near block in the back, but I think the kid avoided the contact over there and gives Mike George a first down. As George gets it out to the to the 38, yep, 60 yards on the on the carry, but he gains he gains 12. Yeah, first and 10, however, and more importantly, clock stopped, so yep. they could uh, more importantly he gets out of bounds right on that pass play. West Lincoln again to the line here. Now Marsh fakes a handoff, now looks up under heavy pressure, now slips free and gets out to the 42, 43 yard line, hit pretty hard as he goes down. And those kind of plays though, Rick, are gonna run, run a lot of clock. Yes, it does. Takes a lot of time to get up, get back to the line of scrimmage. They give Marsh the 43 yard line. Play is already in though. Yep. Good job by West Lincoln to get it in quickly. How many to get? Now about four, four second down one. six, yep. yep. Throw out in the flat, incomplete. Marsh intended for Jake Clary. And now it's going to bring up third down and six. So a couple big plays here for the West Lincoln offense if they're going to have any chance at all making a comeback. 3.02 remaining. And the clock is stopped after the incomplete pass. Marsh does have the play from the sidelines. 18 seconds on the play clock, so plenty of time. To the line of scrimmage comes West Lincoln. Yeah, the clouds, the sky is really darkened up here in the last little bit. Yeah. Marsh back to throw, got a receiver, and is it caught? Looked like Chesney. Nope, it's going to hit the mm. ground, says the uh, side judge over here. Incomplete, and it was number 40 right there, Rick, for Fred T. Ford on defense. Kind of called his name out quite a few times. Obstructing the view. Willis for the Tigers. So now, West Lincoln got to do it. They got to go for it on fourth down in their own territory. They're on 42 yard line, fourth down and six. Got to reach the 48, get to the 40, 
or the 49 basically. You need to get to the 49 yard line to keep this drive alive and really to have a legitimate shot in this ball game. With the clouds darkening and time winding down, some folks are heading for the exit. Smarsh throws it downfield and it's going to be underthrown incomplete. Falls incomplete and Fred T. Ford will take over on downs following the incompletion. Yes, it will. That's probably going to do it for the well, barring a turn, a turn, turnover. A turnover. Right. We've almost had to have two turnovers at this point. Ford will get it at the West 42. First and ten. Everything's in the favor of the Tigers at the moment. Clock running, or clock's going to run here at 2:51. They've got the ball back, two touchdown lead. South Caldwell and AC Reynolds getting ready to start the second half of their game tonight up at South Caldwell. About oh, okay. to get underway. Here's a snap here, and it's going to be handed off to Smith, and he's got nothing. Smith stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Jacob Smith. L. Peterson in on the stop again for the Rebels. Give him the line, no gain. Second down, 10 for, well, for the Fred T. Ford Tigers. 2.28 to go. Time winding down. And Fred T. Ford really taking their time now. Nothing Wesley can do about it. They take their time getting to the line of scrimmage. Going to use most of the play clock before they snap it. Almost down to the two-minute mark in the game. Williams takes it. Hands off. We've got a penalty marker coming in. As Schmidt takes the handoff for maybe a yard. But not sure that's going to matter. We check the penalty marker. And it's a hold on Fred T. Ford. And they'll step off 10. Look like nothing, Johnny. Another 10-yard penalty on Fred T. Ford. Had quite a few here in the second half. Yeah, put it on the 53, Phil said. <laughs> All the way back at the 47 of Fred T. Ford. Well, David, Fred T. Ford broke that long losing streak last week. Now they're going to have like a winning streak get, going. Yeah, looks they? like they're going to get two in a row here. Yes, they are. Quarterback's really impressive. Yes, he is. Williams takes the snap, drops back, got a man wide open at the oh. 35, and he can't hang on. Anthony Gibbs. Wow. He put it right on the money. Third down. Is he one of the BGs? I doubt it. <laughs> He'd be one of the AGs because he's Anthony. Anthony Gibbs, 5'9", yes. 155 falls, senior. This falls incomplete. 24-13, South Carolina leads Georgia. 24-13 and a half. I'm surprised about that. So third down and 20 now. Looking at 24, the Tigers. 146 remaining. Which one? Back, yep, drops back. Now I see some running room. Going to take advantage. Gets to midfield, 45-40. Trying to stay in bounds, but gets pushed out of bounds. Clock actually keeps running as the referee says. Forward progress was stopped, I guess, before he went out of bounds at the 38-yard line of West Lincoln. Again, about 19, let's see, 12, 30, 40, 15. 15-yard gain. Fred yep. T. Ford is called a all the way to the west. 38 and a first, not a, not a first down, still fourth, I mean, still fourth down and about. The marker over this says first, but. Still going to be fourth. Yep, and fourth and about five. five. Yep. Mm -hmm. the referee pointed towards the Tigers for a timeout, but. Yeah. Yeah. Nonetheless, the clock has stopped with 127 remaining. You got a college scoreboard up? Let's see what we got. Well, as we said, South Carolina leading Georgia 24-13. Uh, Alabama over Southern Miss, second quarter 14-3. Ole Miss rolling in the fourth quarter over Louisiana Lafayette, 56-13. Stanford 21-0 over Army. Uh, Tennessee, Oklahoma should be a good one later on tonight. We'll see how far Tennessee's come. And LSU taking on home state rival UL Monroe. How about that? Nothing, nothing first quarter. Sun Belt Down versus the, the SEC. Campbell back to punt, and it gets off a high 
kick, yep. David. Fair catch called for by Chesney, but he's going to watch it bounce and hope, and it does not. It does takes not a nice out. Fred T. Ford bounce straight up, and they'll down it around the five-yard line. Well, you told him not to take it inside the ten-yard line. Yep, he so did the right thing. He did the right thing, but Fred T. Ford got down there and the only uh, thing maybe here the ball. with the, with no more time in there is maybe try and get a big return. But yep. that thing had so much hang time, he'd have a hard time getting much of a return. That other one field was Oregon, number two Oregon leading big right over, uh, or is it a final? Yeah, Oregon beats Wyoming today at home 48 to 14 and Missouri over uh, Central Florida 38 to 10. Uh, East Carolina pulling off the upset of the day winning at Virginia Tech 28 to 21 and that's about it. Louisville upset by Virginia 23-21. We saw that one before we left the house and Ohio State bounces back of course, they had to play Kent State to do it, but they win 66 nothing. That's right. No quarterback rolling the ball under pressure and gets knocked out of bounds at around the 10 or 11 yard line. Yes, Ohio State leading 66 to nothing with six seconds left on the clock, and they throw a bomb in the end zone. But did they really? Yes, it, it was incomplete. Oh, <laughs> did not know that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Watch that play. That's the only play of the day I got to see of that game. So West Lincoln now second down and four. And it's raining. Bet you would never guess that. I never guessed that. What a fitting in to this two-day event. <laughs> yeah. Two day back event. Marsh back to throw, and he is going to be wrapped up by a couple Fred T. Ford defenders, number 42, number 54, right in there on that one. Christian Whitmore and Dylan Curtis. So that goes down as a sack back to the eight-yard line. Clock under a minute, 42 seconds to go in the game. And the fans with the rain pouring probably wish they had left about three minutes ago. Marsh, Marsh yep, to go under again. pressure again, going to be sacked behind the five-yard line this time, down at about the two. Sacked by number 68. Yeah, they'll call it a three, I guess, so a loss of five back-to-back -back sacks. Bailey Martin on the stop. Now the clock down to 15 yep. seconds, Sam. Unless, unless there's an incomplete pass or a penalty, this will probably be it. And the rain continues to get harder here at the stadium. And a snap, and the throw is incomplete with one second to go, and that may do it. Clock time runs out on the clock here, and that will do it here at West Lincoln. This one in the books, another CloningerFamilyDentistry.com high school football broadcast today. Fred T. Ford and Wes Lincoln, the conclusion of last night's start. Fred T. Ford on the TRT Turtle Sales scoreboard wins at 42-28. Stay tuned for the first Federal Savings Bank postgame show. Join Marble and Iron Station. Come visit their showroom and see how they can turn your home into a masterpiece. Lloyd Marble has been serving Lincoln County since 1976. They are home owned and operated, striving on customer service, plus the details to the products they produce. From cultured marble, including vanity tops, showers and tubs, to the new colors of granite and tile for those backsplashes and tile floors. Lloyd Marble, 3866 East Highway 27 and Iron Station, online at lloydmarble.com. Just say, fill her up. Be ready for old man winter with a fill up from Rhodes and Bill Oil Company in Lincoln. No matter where you live, Rhodes and Bill Oil Company in Lincoln can deliver. Just call 704-735-2508. Be ready for old man winter with your winter fill up from Rhodes and Bill Oil Company. 1404 East Main Street in Lincoln. Again, call 704-735-2508. Just say, fill her up from Rhodes and Bill Oil Company in Lincoln. Listen up, Newton Conover Red Devil fans. Walker's Pharmacy in downtown Newton is now your Newton Conover Red Devil Apparel Headquarters. You'll find Red Devil caps, t-shirts, sweatshirts, rain ponchos, collared shirts, and more. And all proceeds from the sale of Newton Conover merchandise goes to the Newton Conover Red Devil Booster Club. Show your Red Devil colors with a stop at Walker's Pharmacy. Walker's Pharmacy, 33 College Avenue in historic downtown Newton. Get your Newton Conover Red Devil Apparel today. Since 1986, 
Watson Carpet and Tile in Lincoln has been serving this area with the finest in floor coverings with famous name brands like Armstrong, Shaw, Mannington and more. And not to mention professional installation from carpeting to ceramic tile to laminate flooring to wood flooring to vinyl, countertops and more. Watson Carpet and Tile in Lincoln can help and their friendly staff is there to help you with your selection. Visit them today at 2129 East Main Street in Lincoln or visit them online at watsoncarpet.com. Cars that were built to be driven. That's Dodge from Abernathy Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Lincoln. See the all-new 2014 Dodge Challenger starting at 26495 The 2014 Dodge Charger starting at 26995 The 2014 Dodge Grand Caravan starting at 2895 And the 014 Dodge Journey starting at 19995 Dodge. Cars that were built to be driven. See the lineup today at Abernathy Chrysler Jeep Dodge. 1442 East Main Street, Lincoln. Your football food headquarters is the home place restaurant on Highway 27 west of Lincoln. And every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, when you purchase a meal, you'll get a free drink when you mention you're headed to a football game. Just tell the waitress you're on your way to a football game, any football game, middle school, Pee Wee, high school, JV, and you get a free drink. All for good for any football game, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Don't forget the Home Place Restaurant for your holiday catering. The Home Place Restaurant, two miles west of Lincoln and Highway 27. Open 1108 Monday through Saturday. Like us on Facebook, too. 